Look at the crunch factor on the joint, man. Ooh, buddy. Yes, sir. The flow. Ooh, what? Mm -hmm. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Kells. Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, we're here in the city. Ready to get some fire chicken today, man. So, if you guys ready for that, you know I am. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're here in Harlem. We made it to Charles Pan Fried Chicken. Let's go in there and see what it's here for. Let's do it. Managers at Charles Pan Fried Chicken. Casey, right? Casey, yeah. Listen, y'all gotta come through and get the combo, the chicken and ribs combo. It's the best of both worlds. You taste the southern hospitality chicken yeah. batter, right? Barbecue's ribs, and it falls off the bone. And hey. you gotta get the saucy. <laughs> the sauce, man. Yeah, the homemade barbecue sauce. Yeah. I promise y'all. So, so one thing I did notice that when you walk in, they say, welcome to Charles Pan Fried Chicken. Yes. Like, and everyone says it at the same time, so it's very hospitable for sure. Yeah. I yes. like that. Yeah, you yeah. want that welcoming energy okay. so that you can feel at home. Come visit Charles Pan Fried Chicken here, right. 145th and Edco. Come check us out. Come eat with us. Yes. Love. Got a chicken from Charles Pan Fried Chicken. Looks so fire right now. Action Jackson. My homegirl inside Charles Pan Fried Chicken told me that the chicken, it hits, but it hit different. We got the barbecue sauce with it. But let's taste it without it first. Bro, so the first thing you taste is the crispiness of the chicken. Wow! Yo, Case, you wasn't lying. And hey. you gotta get the saucy, the homemade barbecue sauce. Yeah. What is in this thing? It's nice and sweet, a little bit of tangy, has a little kick to it as well. Official, like a referee with a whistle. Mm hmm. Buzz it down. Lady, pop it. You know what I'm saying? Pop, lock, and drop it. I got it from Charles Pan Fried Chicken, bro. Okay, okay. Right there. Yeah, man, definitely check me out, my brother. I appreciate you. I uh, appreciate the support. Oh, I see you right now. Yeah, you see me? Yeah, out there yeah. eating good food, man. Yeah, Doing yeah, what yeah, I do, yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate yeah, you, man. Right. Stay up. You already know, guys, out here connecting with people. That's what we do, man. That's the name of the game. And make sure yours is tight. You already know. Back to the chicken. The flow. Ooh, boy. Let that thing drip on it, boy. Mm -hmm. Wow, what I like about the chicken, it's seasoned just right, guys. It's definitely marinated before it's cooked, prepared. I seen the guys in the back, chefing it up. My man was definitely taking his time, turning each piece of chicken, caring for it individually. And that's important when you cook your food, guys. You gotta cook it with love, you gotta cook it with that cariño. You already know, fire. Mm. And this sauce, though, changing the game. Mm-hmm, yes, sir. Mmm, mmm, sweet, spicy, kind of like a hot honey, but it has way more flavors to it, man. On a scale of one to five, guys, five being the best I've ever had, one being not so great, it's definitely gotta be a five, man. No cap. Look how golden brown that is. Nice and fluffy. Mmm. What I like about it is it's nice and sweet, has a nice fluffy texture to it, and it's cooked to perfection. Sometimes it's a little dry, but this one, Far from dry, definitely moist, definitely has tons of flavor. Let's wrap this up and go to the next spot. Let's do it. All right, guys, we made it to Koreatown. About to go to Pelicana Chicken. It's actually like in the Asian market right there behind us. So let's go in there, find some good stuff. You already know. Thank you. 
Let's do spicy crispy. Oh, why not? Alright guys, we're gonna hoop and pelican chicken. We're kicking it right now in Koreatown, as you can see. The vibes, people behind me flowing through. You already know, but the chicken looks fire, guys. Boom. The flow on there right there. They had like a ton of different options there, but uh, I just went with the five drumsticks. I didn't really want to go too crazy with it. This is the spicy crispy chicken batter on these drumsticks right here. So it's not no regular degula joints. Nah, not even close, you know what I'm saying? And then we have the special honey garlic sauce right here. We gotta try the chicken before we put anything extra on it just to see what the flavors is heading for. Ooh, buddy. Yes, sir. Wow. Mmm. Definitely got that spice to it, boy. Woo. First thing I taste, guys, nice and crispy. Not super crispy, but it has a nice crunch to it. Honestly, <laughs> it's definitely hella spicy. Woo. Honey garlic. Maybe it's like tame down the spice a little bit. Yup. That does it right there. The honey garlic actually adds a little flow to it. It kind of evens it out. So it's not as spicy when you put this on it. I'm starting to think now, if I didn't get a spicy crispy, it might not be this fire. Because it adds that different element to it. Let's go ahead and make this thing theatrical. The sauce. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That kind of chicken is Korean fried chicken. Koreatown has amazing fried chicken here, man. I got karaoke, they have the, the food spots outdoor, they have the food galleries. They got so much for you to come through and enjoy once you come through the Koreatown. Definitely recommend you guys to pull up. Check it out, man. We're gonna give a spicy crispy chicken from Pelican Chicken. We're gonna give this, give this a 4.25. It's that good. When you add the honey garlic to the chicken, it makes it a 4.5 for sure. I'm gonna wrap this up. I'll see you guys in a second. You already know. Alright guys, we made some batter chicken. Let's go in there and see what they got. Let's do it. Let's go with this one, brother. We got the soy garlic chicken wings with the fries. Look at this, guys. I mean, look at that drumstick action right there, though. Look how that's prepared. And my guy was talking to me about for chicken. He definitely hooked me up with some extra dumplings right here. And these things look official, too. Look at these things. Mm-hmm. And so happens that the Korean spots are up there with all the best spots here in the city, man. So we hit two Korean spots today, but it's all good. They're definitely different, and I can't wait to try it, man. <laughs> what's up, bro? What's going on? You want to say what's up? In Spain? In Spain, in Spain. That's what's up. Say what's up to YouTube, man. And you speak Spain? You guys speak Spanish? In Spanish, Spanish. <laughs> you asked me if I speak Spain. You mean Spanish? <laughs> Look at the crunch factor on the joint, man. Mmm. Just the one. This is fire right here. First thing you taste is the sweet and tanginess of the soy garlic sauce when you bite into it. Super crunchy on the outside. The chicken is cooked just right on the inside. Look at the inside. You know what I'm saying? It didn't cook. Look at that bite, boy. That's a big boy bite right there. What I like about Korean fried chicken is that it reminds me of like tempura, like everything is lightly battered, but it's cooked just right. It's crispy. Mm -hmm. Look how amazing this thing looks. I don't know what they put on it. Mm hmm. Lily. Wow! It's like honey on top of the dumpling, which gives that like nice sweet taste to it, which is fire. On the next episode of Dumplings, we got a double back for Matt for Chicken for sure. I'm just gonna keep it 100. The dumplings, go get a five. 
It's kind of hard not to give you a great rating after the fire dumpling right there too. But if we're gonna rate up the soy garlic chicken for Maffer chicken, we're gonna give this a 4.45, guys. It's really that good, man. I mean, I like the crispiness of it. I like the texture, the consistency, the flavors all mix well together. Definitely tastes like it was marinated before. I'm going in right now. I got chicken, I got fries, I got dumplings. Man, I need to slow down. Slow down, little buddy. Let me wrap this up, and I'll see you guys in a second. You already know. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up the episode for today. We came out and had some amazing fried chicken today, man. I enjoyed venturing throughout the city, having a good time, meeting people, connecting. I encourage you guys to do the same, man. Summertime is almost here. I appreciate you guys taking the journey with me. Yo, to so our next food adventure, it's your boy Kells. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay dangerous.